Hey everyone, today you will be on the top of the camera with me at our first 2020 engagement shoot in City of London. Um, you will see how we pose the couples, what we tell them and uh, why engagement shoot is a great way to um, get to know each other and uh, get more comfortable in front of the camera. So, meeting couple uh, just outside the Tower of London. Uh, now uh, you see the um, view from the camera on the top of the actual uh, shooting camera. Uh, I'm shooting with one lens, um, not to lose the momentum, just to focus on the couple, focus on uh, what they do and how they do look um, the best as possible, trying to um, get out of them as natural poses as possible. Uh, bef just before the, um, the uh, every engagement shoot, uh, we have with the couple quick prep talk uh, to tell them that we're not gonna really pose them, we're gonna give them slight direction uh, for them not to get used to being uh, posed because once they're gonna start to feel we we try we pose them, uh, they're gonna wait for for pose uh, for directions every single time. So asking them to move around, asking them to be in constant uh, a little bit move, a little bit um, a little bit kissing, a little bit going for a kiss, uh, and moving from different directions. Uh, we give them freedom of their own uh, of their own poses. Uh, obviously, asking couples as well. Uh, asking this particular couple uh, if they have any idea in mind, uh, if, uh, any idea or asking them to, to crack a joke, uh, asking just here to crack a joke, to um, for, for him to start to think in all, if he's in his own different, uh, different way. Obviously I have, um, in this occasion, I have a second camera in my bag. Uh, I wouldn't come for a shoot uh, with one, just one camera, uh, but shooting with one just to um, just to keep it a low profile uh, and keep it uh, quick as possible to move around, not to wait, uh, not to make them wait for me to change the camera, change the uh, lenses and things like that. Oh, Here that you can one. see that just a warm up, can, so one location, uh, we're moving uh, around this uh, this wall. This wall works quite a lot as well as for black and white, as well as for uh, color images. It's nice and contrasty cool. and uh, yeah, oh, as you can see they, they just have fun uh, yeah, asking them to lean on this uh, ugly wall. Uh, which doesn't look ugly uh, in uh, on the on the picture. So again, a bit silly poses, but they actually have fun, uh, which is the most important on uh, on the actual okay. shoot. Uh, um, we're moving to a different location yeah. now. The location actually they wanted uh, to have pictures uh, at. Uh, so this is uh, the ruins of the church in St. Dunstan uh, East. Um, and uh, this uh, gives a totally different look. Uh, we moved maybe 100 meters to different location. Uh, and this particular location, as you can see, uh, different look, different kind of uh, colors as well as um, just to underline who they are they like the um, they like nat nature they like natural colors and this they like green to be uh, incorporate in the shoot uh, so you see one bench uh, and ask them to move around the bench ask them to uh, sometimes to look at the camera because they want some pictures for the parents they want some pictures uh, styled uh, and to looked in the camera uh, directly into the lens so if they want to move that direction, uh, I just let them to do that. Moving again, you see my back is in the background. He's, um, I believe his, uh, his um, uh, scarf, but just moving behind the small wall gives completely different look uh, and gives completely different um, perspective. Uh, movement shots, always asking uh, couples to, to walk, to stand up, uh, to uh, relax and and waiting for them to do their things. I didn't ask them to put their hands there. They just uh, realized they can do it as well as that. They start to do that uh, and I just encourage them to do to go a bit wider, a bit further away from each other and this gives a completely different feel and uh, as well as fun shots. 
you see one location there is some guy behind but I just uh, shot a bit uh, a bit closer and move this guy uh, the guy in the background just behind the wall gives completely different uh, feel of the of the image um, the same location but just behind there looks like kind of night just silhouette of them um, you see there is a, there is a cigarette but uh, gum butt <laughs> Uh, chewing gum butt on the left, but I just take it a bit uh, close up and uh, no need to show that around, which would give. Um, uh, so now um, again, they figure out they're gonna they're gonna stand uh, again. Look at the lens, uh, which gives different look. Um, vertical shots. This is what I'm trying to incorporate this year a little bit more because I like to shoot uh, horizontal, but uh, I'm trying to do more vertical vertical shots as well to do it. Even though 50/50, again their own idea because I wait for them uh, to do their own thing. Um, trying to shoot from different directions. Again, this is the same directions as before, but gives different look and ask them to think of uh, look at the look at the there ring uh, and think of that uh, as you can see uh, trying everything for the for the couple running around the building or the guy sweeping up the floor here uh, trying um, um, running around and this completely different look uh, the same pose asking them just to hold it different pose Leading lines helps a lot in the pictures, just dividing the picture in three different areas uh, and then um, gives uh, the um, person who is, to, who is looking at the picture different um, different perspective and, uh, as, um, and the leading lines helps a lot. Again, I ask them to sit comfortably, to maybe lean on them, on each other and support each other. Uh, different looks, different, uh, and they wanted actually green in a shot. So I bear in mind they wanted green. So uh, just take out as much as green as possible. Just bear in mind uh, this shot, this shoot is uh, taken place in central London in uh, in January. So it's not that much of green, even though it is green because the uh, the winter this year is not that um, that strong. Switch now to 85 uh, millimeter lens, so I can stand a bit further, but this gives me different compression of the background, gives me the background a little bit closer to the subject and a little bit shows, uh, um, give an impression that the uh, background is a little bit larger, but I can be a bit further from them and uh, I can uh, uh, give them more freedom and uh, is enough. I mean, I've, I've been with them uh, with 35 millimeter lens for almost an hour, so now I can be a bit further uh, and uh, let them do the thing. Um, walking shots, as before, completely different look. Um, and now we had finally we had some sun out. So I try to catch the sun on the faces uh, because actually this is a cloudy day. So we see around it's not really appealing area, but even though I uh, try to be here where the light is and using 85 millimeter lens, I'm very close to them, but using this available light, um, trying to create a little bit different look. Moving around uh, them, uh, I'm trying to create different uh, style of images as well as you see now pointing from up and uh, that gives me a different look and different style of image every time uh, shooting. Look at me here, Rekha. That's pretty much all from Did here. Again, I ask just to crack a joke uh, because they actually did. Uh, did uh, he actually crack a joke when I was uh, switching the lens? Um, again, I switched the lens to the wider. Why? 
just to use this available light. Only the light, the, the sun only came out only here in the spot and you see the separation from the background is totally different when we have a little bit of sun here. So I asked them to stay in that particular point uh, just because there was only packet of light just in here. Uh, obviously it's a bright day but not that bright as uh, it appears to be from the very beginning. Mm. Yeah, just walk down. Just guys, just walk down, yeah? As we approach to the end of the shoot, I uh, still wanted to take some uh, walking shots and basically they uh, they said uh, um, they would like to have some, some, um, some just around here. So here, from low down, uh, just a shot on the on the street with those poles which are actually uh, suggesting we are in London uh, just to incorporate London look I wanted just to incorporate as much as possible of the London here without putting that many of landmarks because we could go around and shoot in the landmarks but we're not here to do the any touristic stuff leading lines uh, yellow just to give a bit of contrast and uh, it's, it, is, it is cold, so I asked them, listen guys, show me yeah, how cold really is that, uh, give a hug to, to Rekka and show me how cold is that. It's Here, <laughs> I just told them, uh, it's amazing bridge behind me, guys, look at this bridge, uh, I've, I'm sure you haven't seen that, obviously, uh, she's Londoner, she knows uh, that a lot. And the last thing is, I always try to give them, if they don't have any idea about posing, I, I don't want them to... To, to ask them to stay here or there. I just try to give them some uh, some jobs. So I ask her uh, to jump on his back and that make them laugh uh, big time. Um, and it doesn't really look uh, that, um, that fake at all. So thank you so much. See you in another shoot. Uh, hope you enjoyed that.